don't be surprised and don't be alarmed. I'm just trying to get in a few more wears of my sunglasses before all the sun go away. Here in the environment where I'm residing right now, the sun's declining so rapidly because the temperatures are changing so expediently. Honey, it's getting exceptionally cool. It's getting dark and we definitely have that fall appearance here. So honey, I've been, I've been rocking these sunglasses all summer long. Not necessarily these ones, but several. I've been rocking them because I love my sunglasses. Always trying to protect the eyes and I definitely will miss them because it's too dark for them outside, so I have to rock up in front of you. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, everyone. I am Love of Fragrance, and I'm coming to you today in reference to storing your fragrances. That's a very, very, very hot topic. I want you to know that that's very important, storing your fragrances, because of the fact that you have to take into consideration when you purchase them, they've been sitting on a shelf for quite some time anyways. And once you attain them, you can't use them all up in one day, so they're going to be sitting on a shelf again for a while. But you know, nothing, well, fragrances, they don't last forever. They have an ex expiration date the same as food. Fragrances have an expiration date the same as the food that you take into your body. It's not going to last forever. I just want you to know this is on the outside of your body, but it's very important as well that you store your fragrances in an appropriate manner because it's highly recommended that you maintain your fragrances in the container sets you purchase them in. But we all know we don't do that. We love to look at those little beautiful containers that we bring into our residence. I know I do, but I want you to know that those containers are very, very important to the survival and the life of your fragrances because they need to be stored in a very dark environment. Maybe in a cardboard box, maybe in a drawer. Many individuals store them in their closet or they store them in the basement. Wherever you want to store them, honey, as long as it's a dark environment, that's fine. And also try to maintain them in, a, in the box, the original container that they come in. And another deterioration of your fragrances that will exuberate them expediently happens to be when you put them in direct sunlight, like in the windowsill. If you put a fragrance in direct sunlight, honey, it's going to deteriorate the life of your fragrance more expedient than anything else but there are many factors that could deteriorate your fragrance rapidly but put them in direct sunlight honey is just like murdering your fragrances we just murdered all of that beautiful content in those beautiful little bottles by putting them in direct sunlight because it will cause them to become very, very dark very quickly, which means that the fragrance losing its substance and the components that it's made out of are going to begin to sour. And it won't smell anything like what you invested in. And that's another complication with maintaining your fragrances. And I have one more suggestion for you in reference to sustaining the life of your fragrance. We all take into consideration that we have our vanities in our bedroom and we have our vanities in our bathroom. But then again, putting your fragrances on your vanity in your bedroom also deteriorates the life of your fragrances, especially if you have direct sunlight coming into a room where your vanity happens to be located and shining directly on your fragrances. You're going to discover that they begin to sour in that location as well, very expediently. And the other factor happens to be that if you were to put your fragrances in your bathroom vanity, you're going to encounter the same complications because you have a fluctuation of temperatures. And those fluctuations of temperatures causes the most of temperatures elevate when you use a shower, when you turn the hot water on, washing your hands, or showering, whatever you do in there, it's going to evaporate some moisture which is going to affect the temperatures. And when that happens, your fragrance is going to lose their substance. Again, they're going to begin to lose their molecule integrity. And when that happens, again, you're going to encounter 
weak fragrances that also will begin to smell very soured. But with all that being said, it's very important is that you always store your fragrance in the dark, cool environment, such in the original box, in another box, in a drawer, or in a closet, or in a basement, somewhere where it's cool and it's dark, if possible. Otherwise, you better use them up really expediently because otherwise you won't have anything but some sour substance in your fragrance bottles. But I'm coming to you today with my fragrances that I have had disclosed, not necessarily in a dark environment. I maintain them in the original containers, but while I have these fragrances here that are in their original boxes that I have a little bit of concern regarding whether or not they're still of quality because they were not stored in a dark environment. And so I'm going to check these out right here with you today just to make sure that they haven't turned on me. Maybe become sour, lost their complete substance. I'm not going to terminate the fragrances. I just want to feel more assured so when I pull them out, I can still utilize them. So the first one I'm going to check out first, I'm only, okay, these are gift boxes. And I'm not going to check out the gels or the lotions, just fragrance. And the number one that I have some concern for will be here, Gucci Bloom. I hope you can see it very well. I want to check this one out because, of, honey, I knew that they needed to be stored somewhere. But I thought I had them stored in a very nice area. But when I went and really, really, really... Uh, investigated where they were and I saw the amount of sunlight coming through the resident I didn't want to go oh my god I messed up my fragrances so let me see did I mess up my fragrances here Gucci Bloom let's see if you still have some fragrance left in you after all that sunlight mm, honey no concerns here it still smell like Gucci Bloom to me I'm content with this one so let's go on to the next one The next one we have here happens to be Armani. Yes, honey, you have to be, you have to check this stuff out because you never know what might happen to your fragrances if they are not stored properly. And even this big, thick box here, you would think, well, that would be enough, but it isn't. Okay, this here, it's money. It's, no, because of you. It's a money because of you. Let's check this one out. I'm going to have to probably get to the rest of another day but let's do a few more uh, oh I'm so happy my fragrances are still alive I'm so happy that my fragrances are still blooming they're still rich they're still relevant to me I can still enjoy them fresh 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 just like I love it you know, at one point, uh, at one point, I just want you to know, I kept my fragrances in the refrigerator. When I was very young, I was a teenager, and I had a few fragrances that I was in love with. And for some reason, I felt like they would preserve themselves much longer if I kept them in a very cool area. So I put them in the refrigerator. But after you accumulate so many, you know, with your collection and everything, you don't have you have to put your food in there a refrigerator can't hold all your fragrances you know you don't have room for that who's going to eat the fragrances so i had to discontinue that bad habit okay this one right here happens to be chloe no main and it was in the direct sunlight as well. not necessarily direct but it was in the sunlight as well and with this one i think you're going to be bringing this one to you and i have a couple of items in here I'm going to only test the large one because I don't usually utilize my samples. This is a sample. This is a sample right here. And this one right here is a large one. But I'm going to pull out the sample. I'm sorry. I'm going to pull out the large one. And let's see what it smells like. Oh, Ooh, I can't get it out. I started to just say, forget it. Okay, here we are. Okay, Chloe, no mate. I smell this Gucci blue and I smell this Amani like oh heavenly 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 honey everywhere now where am I gonna put you you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this one on a 
just a piece of paper. I'm going to put you on some paper because I cannot, I can't, I won't be able to smell it because, honey, these two items I just sprayed on me a moment ago, they smell so lovely. They are adorable, both of them together. You know what? It would be a great idea to layer them because it smells exquisite. Honey, beautiful scent, beautiful scent, beautiful scent. Let's spray this here. Chloe, no man, I already know you're good, girl. But I'm concerned as to whether or not you've lost your substance, your sustainability, being in that window. So being in that direct sunlight. So let's see. I would be able to test it better on me. <sighs> I have to say, my girl Chloe is still beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No objections here. So it's preserved very well. It's still very preservative. It has been preserved. It has been preserved beautifully. Okay, I didn't mess that one up, but you know what? I'm going to have to test it again, though, because you, if you don't put it on your body, you don't get the true aroma because I have to use my body chemistry. So, let's see. Right here on one finger. <laughs> right here. Still beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I do. Well preserved. Great. Okay, let's close that one up. And we're rushing, 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 rushing through this. And the reason I have to do this is because of the fast pop. These pictures are all get into these boxes. I don't see how the sunlights keep getting through this box. This here is a very deep, dark box. And this one right here. Happens to be Salvatore Ferragoma Signorina Mysterio. Mysterious. Mysterious. Mysterious, baby. And the fragrance, it's well, it used to smell very mysterious. And you know what mysterious I mean? Mysterious woman. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. I don't like to fight with these containers. That's why they've been sitting there for so long. I don't hardly, I don't hardly take them out. And that's why I got a little alarm. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do with these gift boxes? I don't use these fragrances. I don't ever open them. Let's check them out. So here we are. I'm going to only do one more. I'm going to do this. This here is going to be my last one to do today because of the fact that I have other ones to do, but I don't think I'm going to do them on camera. It's too time consuming. Actually, let's try this one, Mysterious, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put it on my one little finger just to see if it's still very mysterious. Bye bye. Are you mysterious, baby? Whoa! Give me chills, honey. Chills. Oh, such a darling charm of mine. Mysterioso. I love you so much. <laughs> Either way, honey, I have checked out all of the ones I intend to check out today. Going through these boxes, trying to make sure that my fragrance hasn't soured on me from being stored inappropriately, which it was. And I discovered that. I'm only including the ones that I've checked out today because I have others to do, but the ones I've checked out today, honey, they are just as immaculate now as they were when I first purchased them. And the girl's happy about that because I was truly, truly, truly concerned. Now that the sun is going down, it's getting a little clouded and dark in my preparation for the colder temperatures. The girl's going to be rocking these babies. So therefore, I just want you to know that if you are storing your fragrances inappropriately, I suggest you check them out before you wear them because, honey, they can't sour on you. Or they can get really, really dark and just lose their substance altogether. All so I highly recommend 
that you do yourself a favor check out your fragrance and check out where you store your fragrance and make sure you're storing them properly even if they're not easily conveniently accessible to you ensure that you're storing them properly and you have a wonderful evening i thank you so much for tuning in and remember to subscribe and also comment bye